Hi, I'm Mark Gorlick, President and CEO of Children's Minnesota, and I'm here today with Dr. Gigi Chawla, who is a terrific pediatrician and also our Chief of General Pediatrics. Thanks for spending some time with me today, Gigi. Well, thanks for having me, Dr. Gorlick. I have heard a lot of folks, parents, who are anxious. They're worried that if they come into the hospital with their kid that, that it's not safe somehow. What would you say to them? Well, I would say, first of all, safety has always been our number one priority for kids and their families coming in. And this time of COVID, we are extra cautious about safety. So we've got everything in place from our staff wearing masks at all locations to social distancing in our lobbies, making sure that all of our families are safe, being six feet apart at all times, and then all of our screening questions that really make sure that we know exactly what patients are presenting for and presenting with as far as if they're ill or not ill. Um, you know, this, I know some of the things we're doing, one thing I saw was in our emergency departments, for example, we've got separate areas for patients with respiratory symptoms and non-respiratory symptoms. So when families come in, they're quickly screened and triage, and those who have respiratory symptoms that could be contagious, could be COVID-19, or in one area, and kids who come in with other non-respiratory symptoms, like maybe injuries, are in a separate area. So keeping them separate, that's something we've done. What, what are some other examples, maybe, from uh, some of our clinics? Yeah, the clinics have ex adopted that exact same model. We've actually been able to um, separate out sites of care. So mm -hmm. some clinics are fully clinics that offer only uh, care to healthy patients and their families. And other sites then can offer care for sick families. Some offer care at different hours of the day. So in the morning, for example, they'd offer care for well families and in the afternoons and evenings to families that are sick. But we've really separated things out as well so that patients can feel absolutely safe when they come in. I mean, those sound like some great steps. Um, what do you tell someone who's so nervous they don't even want to get out of their car? Yeah. Well, first of all, we really want to make sure everybody feels safe in the care that they're seeking because it is so critical that they get those vaccines. So for families who really don't feel safe even coming in but want to get their vaccines, we now offer drive-up care at all of our healthy clinic locations where they could just park their car and, and we'll come out to them with those vaccines that they need and make sure that they stay up to date with their vaccines. If, however, um, families really don't even feel comfortable with that, we offer telehealth services now. And so can do many things with telehealth that we couldn't before, but really can take care of all sorts of illnesses um, and even some mental health things with mm. uh, telehealth care. Well, it's great to see all the precautions that we're taking at Children's Minnesota in the hospitals, the clinics, even in our larger children's health network, all those things that we're doing to help make sure that families stay safe. Yeah, we're, we're really doing everything that we can to make sure that families feel absolutely comfortable and safe when they're here. So I guess that's the take-home message is if your child needs to come to Children's Minnesota, we're here for you and we'll keep you safe. That's right. Great. Thanks, Thank Gigi. You. Thanks for having me.